Right guys, so this is now the mix this morning, what I've come down to, which is, last night what you didn't see is I put some uh, some pineapple glug in there that I do, and I put a fair old amount in, put a bottle in. Now that bottles I'm gonna do at glug. Now um, I put a fair amount in there, now you can't smell it a lot, but I also added a bit of salt in there yesterday because after reading some of what one Atlanta put online that Mark Holmes had written, it was just, uh, it would kept playing on my mind, so I put a little bit in there. So what we've got today is, this This is this glug, what I've got here, by the way, it's, um, it kind of, it's kind of fluorescent when it, when it is, uh, water, it goes to like a, a, a bit of like halo, the beard's halo. Now, um, that's what we've come up with this morning. Now I'm going to be fishing one of them little yellow pop-ups, like I said last night, over the top of that but it's took flavour on it, like I said yesterday, if you can see, it kind of looks washed out to what it did yesterday, the, the maples and, and, and other seeds that are in there, they all look washed out. If you notice now as well, majority of the emperors sunk, I'm not bothered about them little little ones on top uh, sinking, let birds get them, birds need food through winter as well, but it's quite thick now. It's also got another twister, another little uh, secret ingredient that I put in there, but I'm not going to mention that until after I've done. But uh, um, as far as I go, that's I'm going to save about seven of them spoonfuls in one side in a bowl, seven or eight of them, like that size, and whatever's left's getting blitzed, including all this liquid. All this liquid's important, as important as actual uh, food. So when that goes in, that's what colour it's going to send water. I mean, coloured water, fish tech it as feeding fish, so that, that'll do lovely. But as far as what's going out, that's going out in soup. And it's going to, when it when it goes out there, it'll end up looking just like a sludge of that, what, how it looks now, but a sludge. But when it goes out, it will coat the bottom in flecks of brown, yellow, with them tiny pieces of rem. A lot of them stay whole while they're, while they're still in there. So they'll coat bottom as well, so that's what's going on. But I'm gonna blitz them when I get back later on from hospital and see how we go. But it smells, it smells lovely. It smells, it's got a fresh smell to it. If, if it's, if this stuff starts to smell sw uh, stale in any way, change the water, then check it again the day after and if it smells stale again, then no matter how much you've got to it, ditch it for the simple reason of it's gone off and that is 100% it's gone off, no matter how much you've got. Sometimes if you order 10 kilo of it off internet, it will be off for the simple reason of, I think what they do is they defrost it as they need it. But if someone wants a five kilo, they'll defrost 10 kilo and then refreeze it and I think it affects her, um, how long it lasts because it ain't preserved in any way. Now this has got two preservatives in it, natural preservatives in it, that'll uh, help with it, but it's only for 48 hours, so it will go off eventually, but by the time this goes off, it will have all been eaten by, by mostly small fish that are in there. It's mainly for smell to attract carp. So there you go, guys, have a good day. I'll show you that, because that looks nice. That's how it's gonna be.